Hey, these computers are rapid, dude. Look at that. Keep ripping that kid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Clinical. After my rip on the kid, I'm gonna do it again. Let's double team him. He's so screwed. <laughs> ah, pull it out in the 70th minute. Oh, he went for a flare touch. I missed it. Bodied. Oh, dude, if I could. Let's throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Here we go. I think Peter's actually falling. Wait, no, he's not. You're gone. Take it in. I didn't go. That close. Wow, it's <laughs> good. <scored. laughs> All ball. Uh oh, counter is on. Yeah. I see you. Yes. Finally. The outside the foot. I'm not really set up for that anyway. I should have just played short. It's line. It's line. See you on the ground. Chop. Let's go! It worked. Yep. Oh. Back post. Don't. <laughs> oh, that was it. The LVX. Let's go. Yo, what is happening, guys? This is Lesky. Back with another FIFA 23 Pro Clubs video. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at this defensive fullback build that I created. It is a build that you're mostly going to be using in like a four in the back formation. And you're going to focus on being a defensive lockdown fullback on whichever side, right side, left side, doesn't matter. But you're not going to be going up too much with this build. You can go forward with this build. It's not bad. But my other wingback build that I posted before this one is more specialized for like an attacking fullback build. If you want to play in the four in the back and get forward, or if you're playing like a five in the back, three in the back as like a wingback or something, that's the type of build for you. While this one is more specialized for defense, locking people down on the sideline and all that kind of stuff. And it can even be used at center back. I don't want to be that guy to say to use a fullback at center back. But to be honest, fullbacks look very good, especially when it comes like defensive stats and physical stats. So you could play center back with this build as well. So it's a versatile build that's absolutely beastly and locked down as a fullback. So let's get started and take a look at this build. We are 6'2", 174 pounds. I felt like that was a good height and weight for this build. Uh, preferred foot is right footed. That's really up to you guys. Kind of depends on what side you're playing on. Um, but let's take a look at the perks. If you have seen the attacking wingback build that I've posted before this one, then you'll notice that these two builds have the exact same perk setup. I went for chase down on this build as well. As a fullback, even if you might not be going forward that much, um, you might find yourself out of position or like your team might lose the ball in an unsuspected moment and just having chase down to recover and get back in position quicker is so helpful. You can chop down the other player for a few seconds once your team loses the ball. You can gain it back immediately because of the chase down. You can really notice the increase in speed that it gives your player. This build is very fast already. So once you have chase down activated for those few seconds, it's on. You feel extremely quick. It's kind of crazy. So I really like chase down, especially as like a fullback, uh, wingback type of role like this one. Uh, the second perk is pinpoint cross. For a fullback, you're going to be pretty much in the wide areas of the pitch the entire time. So even as like a fullback where you might not be going up as much, you're more focused on defense. You can still whip in some crosses, creep forward and whip in a cross back post, front, first post, whatever it may be, especially if you have some bigger players up top that are good in the air, pinpoint cross will be clutch. But if you don't expect to like go up a bit and cross it with this build, feel free to take it off. You could add like interceptor, uh, ball winner, another passing perk or something. Um, really up to you. You could do like lockdown. I don't know how good that would be. Last defender. You have some options if you don't want pinpoint cross. But you're, for me, when I play fullback, I tend to cross the ball a lot, so I really like pinpoint cross, and it does help your crosses a whole lot. So that leads us to the third perk, which is set piece specialist, and I had this perk on my wingback build as well, and the main reason is because of the giant throw-in trait that it gives you. Every time you're playing fullback or wingback, every time the ball goes out of bounds on that sideline for your team, you are going to get the throw-in no matter what because you're listed in the, in the fullback position. 
Um, so every single time you can just hold X and just chunk it down the field. Um, and you throw the ball so far with the giant throw in trait, you can really catch the other team off guard and even score some goals and create some good scoring opportunities with the giant throw in. Um, I'll show you all some examples. We actually scored a pretty nice goal off my giant throw in and really caught the other team off guard. It also will give you the powerful driven free kick. So maybe you can score free kick and then also set play specialist traits which really what I think that does is kind of like adds more curve, speed, and like whip to you, like your crosses, your deliveries, even your free kicks um, on all of your set pieces. So I get a ton of assists off corners with this build. Uh, even though this build's pretty big and probably pretty good in the air and probably could score some headers, because this build has set piece specialists, you might as well take the corners. And it really does add like a ton of whip and bend onto your deliveries from your corners because of set piece specialists. So it might take a little bit of time to like get adjusted to it if you're kind of already used to like taking corners without set piece specialists it's a little bit different with set piece specialists so it just takes some repetition and practice and then you'll get it down and it's actually very good i got a lot of assists using set piece specialists so these are the three perks that i use feel free to change it up like if you don't want pinpoint cross or set piece specialist you can go even more defensive and go like interceptor ball winner last defender or you can go like precision pass or threaded pass if like if you want to hit a through ball over the top you have some options for this type of build. Let's take a look at the skill tree. Currently, I am level 87 in pro club, so this isn't going to be a max level build. But as I said in previous videos, I plan on making updated versions of all these builds once I get max skill points. And then, of course, I'm going to be making a bunch of other builds that y'all might find interesting or fun to use. And then I do plan on making pro player builds like I've done the past few years. I've had a couple of y'all ask me about that, so don't worry about that. I do plan on doing that as well. So starting on this physical page for this defensive fullback build, as you can see, we went for a good amount of upgrades. All the defensive stats are 90 or higher except for the aggression. On the left side, all you're going to do is go down to the bull archetype to get some strength and aggression upgrades. And then on the right side, you're going to get everything except for the acrobat. Right now, we just don't have that much skill points for the... I think it costs 10 for the Acrobat. Um, and then we really don't need that much stamina as a fullback. Stamina is important, but we don't need that much. So I decided not to go for the Acrobat on this build and get everything on the right side. Make sure to get the second parts for the reactions and then get both of these jumpings to get the jumping to 91. And the physical stats are looking nice. And that's another reason I didn't think I mentioned physical strength perk on this build. Uh, but I didn't use it because of the physical stats are already crazy. You don't really need the physical strength perk. The strength perk might upgrade the jumping and strength to like 99 or something like that. But I don't think it's necessary for a fullback build. Maybe if you're using this build at center back, then you might want to put the physical strength perk on. But as you can see, the physical stats are nutty. So let's look at defending. And of course, there's a lot of skill points on this page as well. We have 91 interceptions, 96 defensive awareness as a right back is absolutely ridiculous. 91 stand tackle and then 93 slide tackle we could upgrade it even more but i feel like it just wasn't necessary for a fullback build maybe if you're playing this at center back then you could but we could go for plus four slide tackle 93 is already really good same with the interceptions we could upgrade that and then also the stand tackle but all the stats are 90 or higher and as a fullback i feel like that is definitely good enough so the defensive capabilities mixed with the physical attributes and especially once you have the chase down kicking in after your team loses the ball and you're trying to track back, help out on defense and steal the ball. This build is an absolute beast when it comes to the defensive uh, ability. You can absolutely just lock people down, body people off the ball, and then you can definitely chop people down. We haven't gotten to the pace page yet, but this build is very pacey for a defensive build. Let's look at the dribbling page. When creating this build, one of the things I noticed is that dribbling is very low for a fullback build to start out. So I went for some agility, ball control, and dribbling upgrades here. But the main thing that I wanted to get on this build was to make this build lengthy. I'm on the new gen version of FIFA. So they added acceleration types to every single player this year. There's three options, explosive, lengthy, or controlled. And lengthy is more for players that are bigger and stronger. The explanation on their website, lengthy, taller and stronger. These players need a bit more time to get going, but are able to catch up to anyone and even surpass them, provided they have enough distance. These players start slower, but will thrive over longer distances. So I think this lengthy accelerate type is clutch for a defensive fullback like this one. You should be able to chop them down because of the lengthy accelerate. And this build is very pacey. And then with the physical stats, that strength, you should be able to 
um, catch up to anyone and then just body them off the ball. And you really won't have to worry too much about um, players getting in behind, especially on your side of the pitch. And in order to get lengthy acceleration type, you have to fit a certain criteria. You have to have um, equal to or more than 65 strength. And then you have to have more than 14 or exactly 14 more strength than agility on your build. So this build has 74 agility and we need 14 or more strength than agility. So this build has 90 agility. So 90 minus 74 is 16. So we fit the criteria. We're 14 or more over when it comes to strength over agility. And that makes this build lengthy. If I went for this plus two agility, I think it would be 14 more strength than agility. So it would still be lengthy. But then once I bump it up even more over 76, say like 79 or something, the build wouldn't be lengthy anymore because we have too much agility. So that's very important, especially if you're on new gen. Uh, old gen, you don't have to worry about that because they don't have accelerate types on the old gen version of the FIFA. But that's why I have this dribbling page like it is. Let's head over to passing. I definitely wanted to upgrade the passing on this build. So on this left side, I went for some crossing and vision upgrades. And then make sure you get the second part for this plus three vision. And then on the bottom left, you're going to get this plus four curve for three skill points. And the last two things for one skill point each, we get plus two upgrades on short pass and long pass. And that's going to complete the passing page for now. Maybe once we get more skill points, we could upgrade it a bit more, like possibly the long pass or get the vision up a bit more just to make the through balls a bit more consistent. That's kind of what I want to upgrade more the crossing is fine i believe we could upgrade the curve that could help with a lot of your passes and it helps for even shooting but this is the passing page let's take a look at shooting where i don't have any skill points here we just have the base shooting stats for 6 274 pound fullback the one thing i was thinking about upgrading is the heading accuracy if you want to get in there for like corners set pieces or come or get in there like arrive in the box for like a late back post cross or something like that then upgrading the heading could be pretty good. We do have 79 to start out with, which isn't terrible. I haven't upgraded it yet, but feel free. If you want to put some skill points on heading, you can get like all three of these or maybe just get like one of them just to get the heading in the 80s. You definitely can do that. Let's go to pace. As you can see, this build has max pace. We went for everything on this page. We have 87 acceleration, which doesn't look amazing. But then you look at the sprint speed and it makes up for it at 98 sprint speed absolutely rapid with the lengthy accelerate type you'll get up to speed so fast and you'll chop down anyone and i really like it for just going forward you can catch the defense off guard you can just bomb forward they can't really catch up to you they don't think you're just gonna keep running straight and then you can get like a cross off or something to one of your big strikers it's actually very deadly and of course, it's good on defense, chopping people down, as I've already mentioned. So let me know in the comments if you give this build a try, what you think of it. Hit that like button on this video for me. And then hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already subbed. As always, you all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.